playing a giant game of Lincoln Logs. Uh, cutthroat trout, uh, steelhead, winter steelhead, uh, coho salmon, chinook salmon, and the area we're in here today is uh, has been identified as critical coho habitats. Uh, historically, um, it was common thought that a lot of um, large wood, wood jams, uh, beaver dams, things like that were uh, harmful to salmon moving upstream and were obstacles. And so there was a quite an effort um, once we got big ground-based equipment in the 40s, 50s, and 60s to remove a lot of the wood and beaver dams from the streams. And we found out that um, that was actually very important to the stream and to salmon and to the ecosystem function of these streams. And now we're here doing restoration work to put the large wood back into the stream. So instead of these creeks being devoid of wood and acting as a funnel on down to the Selects River and down to the ocean, uh, we're trying to put wood in to, to get them to create deep pools, undercut banks. Oregon Wildlife Foundation worked with the Department of Fish and Wildlife to secure funds for this project uh, from Oregon Watershed Enhancement Board. Our, our role in this project, in addition to managing the funds, paying the bills for it, uh, we're also a financial contributor, is to make sure equipment like this can get out on site and, and affect the project and make it work. So we're excited, delighted to be involved. In so we're utilizing a log loader. Um, by doing that, it allows us to go a little bit farther out than a typical excavator. Uh, with this machine, we can stay out of the channel we can make less of an impact um, directly, and it allows us to have up to 70 feet of reach uh, with the ideal log. So if you look off to the left here, you can see there's a pool where the water's starting to hold up. We've created a new channel, essentially right through here where it's coming out of the pool and into the main stem. And that's gonna be some awesome habitat, It'll definitely create quite the environment fish. Yeah, so the large wood we put in here is already having an impact um, over here and you can hear it bubbling. It's uh, backing up the pool here so it's raised the pool level. It's already starting to hold back on some water in the winter. That'll be magnifying. That'll be what really moves things around. But that's the goal here, to change the flow and start to, you know, creating that stream uh, complexity that we talked about earlier. Yes, yeah, so you can see there's a Really small little two, three inch juvenile coho feeding in the water there. It's pretty turbid from when we put the logs in, but stirring up that bottom and stirring up the bugs, it's sent them into feeding. So we're providing some food for them already.